everyone, it's great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today, we are going to be making Steakhouse Burgers. We had these burgers yesterday. I mixed all the ingredients together, Doug fried them up on the grill, and we had a nice Father's Day picnic. We had several people over, my parents, Doug's parents, uh, kids. We had fun. And these burgers were a hit. So July 4th is coming up. If you want a good burger to throw on the grill, I think you'll like this one. So what you're going to need for today's recipe is two pieces of white sandwich bread and we're going to remove the crust and cut into quarter inch pieces. One third cup milk, two and a half teaspoons kosher salt, one teaspoon freshly ground black pepper, three cloves garlic minced, one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons ketchup, three pounds of ground beef, they recommend 80 to 85% lean, three scallions, very finely sliced, and those are optional. If you don't want scallions, onions, I'm gonna be using onions today. And then of course, this says that it'll make about eight hamburgers. I made about 12 from this batch. I actually doubled the batch yesterday and got 24 burgers, but I put about four ounces into a burger press And I've, I've measured it out, four ounces of burger. That way they were all even when they were cooking on the grill. And of course that shrinks it down. So if you want them a little bit bigger, maybe put about five or six ounces into that. And then you'll have a little bit bigger burger and you might get eight, but I got 12. So let's get started. What you're gonna wanna do is have your grill preheated on high heat while you're mixing all of your ingredients. Well, I'm not gonna be cooking these on the grill today, but I will get my little George Foreman grill out and I'm gonna have lunch with this burger. So we're gonna first, in a large bowl, we're gonna mash the bread and milk together with a fork until it forms a chunky paste. I know, sounds kinda of gross, but it isn't. It's really good. So instead of a fork, I have this handy dandy little masher I'm gonna use, that worked out well. And I am cutting this recipe down a little bit, so ignore what I put in it, because I only have two pounds of ground beef left from yesterday, and that's all I'm gonna be making. So I have to cut mine down just a wee bit. So I will only be putting in about a slice and a half of bread instead of two. And then again, you can cut this down or double this recipe like I did yesterday. It worked out great. I prepped them up in the morning, had them in the fridge, and then we just took them out and put them on the grill. Nice and juicy, flavorful. Put any toppings you want on it. Eat it without the bun if you like. If you want to have a low carb, throw some cheese on it. Okay, so first let's put our bread in there. Remember, crustless. Throw it in a large bowl, not a small, a large. You're going to need lots of room for this. And let's add our milk. That would be one third cup milk. Start mashing it. With a fork, whatever you got, just mash it till it looks like a chunky paste. So next, let's go ahead and add the salt, which is two and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. We're going to add the one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I'm just using regular black pepper. Our three cloves of garlic, or you can use the dried minced garlic. I would be using three quarters of a teaspoon for three pounds of this hamburger. One and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and your two tablespoons of ketchup. So you're going to want to mix that together really good. I'm going to whisk it together. And that looks a little nasty right now, but it really does add a good flavor to the ground beef. All right. So next, break up your ground beef. You're going to be using three pounds. I am using 80% lean. And what you're going to end up doing is squishing this together with your hands. There's just no way to get around it. If you want to get that mush in there mixed around, you're going to have to use your fingers. You're going to have to get in there, do some work. Now, if you're using the scallions or onions, put them in now. You can adjust that according to how much you like. 
I have a few extra in here. Yeah, I'm going to throw them in. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is start by mixing this with a spoon, then I'm going to mix it with my fingers. Because you want to get it all in the ground beef. The only way to do that is to mix it really well. Just squeeze it. Next, let's get the patties ready. And I'm going to fry it on my George Foreman grill because I'm not going to heat up the whole grill outside. So I'm going to go ahead and spray mine a little bit. Now, if you're doing this on the grill, before you heat it up, brush it with a little bit of vegetable oil. That way, your burgers won't stick. You can also freeze these, which is fantastic. All you have to do is put them on a cookie sheet, lay them out, get them frozen till they set, then put them in a resealable baggie, pop them in the freezer for up to three months, then just take out how many you need the night before, put it in the fridge to thaw, then you can fry them up great way to do that. That's what I'm going to be doing with these. So let's get started. I'm just going to make mine smaller. I'm going to do four ounces and it's nice to make them even. And if you're doing it on the grill, it just recommends putting like a little depression in it with their spoon. It just keeps it from bubbling up. You know how the burgers, they kind of, the top of it will bubble in the center. Don't want that. So let's hope my George Foreman grill is just about ready. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and prep these up get them ready for the freezer. We'll be good to go. So I'm going to have lunch here in a few minutes with you. So Mr. Miller has stopped in just for a few minutes. He's going to have a burger. <laughs> you enjoyed the burgers yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, they were good. What type of cheese? Havarti or cheddar? Havarti? Havarti? Havarti or cheddar? Cheddar. Cheddar. Cheddar's better, huh? Just good old American cheese. <laughs> if I can't say it, I don't want to eat it. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, that really flattened it up. Okay, my burger's done. <laughs> Look at the difference from being on the grill. They just turned into one little flat thing. <laughs> now, if you don't do it in a George Foreman, it's going to be about double this thickness and really, really good. Doug is going to add whatever toppings he would like. There's still some sliced tomatoes. No, Doug's not a fan of the sliced I like tomatoes. tomatoes but not <laughs> and I enjoyed these yesterday. I think everybody liked them, right, Doug? Seemed to. Yeah. Everybody at them. Everybody at them. So thanks for joining me here once again on D's Delights. I hope you enjoy your steakhouse burgers and have a wonderful July 4th. See you real soon. Bye bye.